Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to share with you today a vision out of a book the Lord inspired me to write um, about God's provision. So here I am, going to kind of dive right into it. I'm just going to read a couple, uh, one little short part, and then I will dive right into it. God's gift to us of His Son, Jesus, is the ultimate provision of life, eternal in our inheritance to become sons and daughters of God. I saw a long path paved in gold. It ran over many hills and valleys. Off in the distance I saw Jesus sitting on a gold throne. Then I saw people covered in the blood of the Lamb wearing robes as white as snow. Some of the people began to take off their white robes and walk off the side of the path. They walked out in the field on each side of the path. I saw people in boats, cars, planes, traffic, at work, in office buildings, factories, construction, and all other kinds of different occupations. Others were sitting in front of their TVs on cell phones and computers. Some were doing landscape work in their yards. It was a very fast, noisy, and hectic pace of life with so many distractions. The noise above was extremely loud. Then as I looked at the path I saw a great plain open up before open up before Jesus on the throne. The ground was completely covered in beautiful green vines. I saw tables end to end side to side as far as you could see. The tables were covered in the finest white silk tablecloths. On the tables I saw a great feast of all kinds of splendid food and drink. I saw very large flat fields on both sides. Then Jesus spoke and said, My wedding is ready, but many of those called have left for the distractions of this world. Then he commanded the rest of his people still on the path to go out into the highways and hedges and compel the people to come to the wedding so that it would be full of guests. The people gathered up as many as they could, the lame, blind, and the halt, then they brought them onto the path. They became covered under the blood of the lamb, clothed in fine robes. Then they walked into the wedding feast. Many are called, but a few are chosen. Jesus needs to be at the center of, of, of our world in, today, in today's events. I mean, just current events. All you have to do is watch the news, just, you know, not such good news, you know. Russian investigation. Trump said this. Trump said that. Just all kinds of stuff, you know. During during Irma Irma hurricane, it was all about how much destruction it was going to cause. And now even current tragic events, the shooting in Las Vegas. All kinds of crazy, crazy people in this world that brought fear upon this country. Did more damage than Irma did, probably. To the psychic of this country, you know, very tragic event, horrific. I'm not discounting, you know, the loss of life to these people, all their loved ones, you know. It's just, but Jesus needs to be at the center of of what we do in this country. And when we put Jesus back in the center, this country is going to turn around. There's so many distractions in life, you know. Even take the cell phone, Facebook, all, all you know, all kinds of social media and stuff. You know, you go to a restaurant and. The husband and wife will be sitting on their cell phone while the kids are just doing whatever, waiting for their food. They're so buried in their cell phones and so people, you know, walking down the street, not paying any attention, walking across the street, walking across parking lots. And just watch people, watch people and see how distracted they are, even by something simple like the cell phone. Computers are a distraction. We're getting off the focus of Jesus being at the center. When we put Jesus at the center, our lives will completely change. That's kind of where I'm headed to, and I'm not going to get off that theme. I'm going to kind of stay in that theme. Look at some of my other YouTube videos. Look at the one about Jesus at the center. Look at the one about the election, how Jesus was at the center, the vision I had after the election, how Jesus was at in the center. There's just some awesome videos. Put a like, dislike on there, comment on it, share it with other people on Instagram. Facebook, whatever, you know, help me get that word out there, look at some of my visions about getting a free copy of this book, those are the type of visions the Lord's given me about inspirational, last day, end time move of God, how we're going to grace dispensation, I mean, economic collapse is already here, this, this country's just under a grace dispensation, if it wasn't for the grace of, of God, we, we probably wouldn't even exist as a country, I mean, that's current events. Congress had to pass a law to spend more money, basically, called deeper into debt. They're talking about $100 trillion in debt sooner or later. Where are we going to be with that kind of debt? So there's never any talk about paying it back, about getting out of debt, about balancing the budget. It's just about 
you know, they pass a law to get deeper and deeper in debt. So anyhow, just look at some of my other videos, trying to keep this one kind of brief. Just this is about distractions, but God's the ultimate provision was Jesus Christ for the inher for our inheritance to the right to eternal life, to become sons and daughters of his. Just awesome time we're living in if we put Jesus first. Thanks. God bless you. Love you all. Have a wonderful day.